When the 4680 cells are ready to ship, Panasonic says Tesla will be its top priority. Elon Musk stated during the company's recent 2021 earnings call that the automaker is already producing Model Y crossovers with 4680 battery cells that Tesla has been manufacturing in-house and stockpiling. Let's dig in. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Elon Musk World, where we tell you all the latest news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. In today's video, we are going to tell you about Panasonic collaborating with Tesla and prioritizing it among other EV makers. Panasonic has also received a large order for the cells from the brand, and the battery maker intends to test production and prioritize the EV maker when it comes to production. There have been many indicators that Tesla may not be ready to produce vehicles with its new structural battery packs and 4680 cells for a long time. However, Musk said during the earnings call that Model Y crossovers built in the new Gigafactory in Texas will have both the structural packs and the cells. So in Texas, we're building the Model Ys with the structural battery packs and the 4680 cells, and we'll start delivering after final certification of the vehicles, which should be fairly soon. Musk said through Teslarati. Drew Baglino, Tesla's senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering, echoed Musk's remarks, even claiming that Tesla has been producing 4680 cells and structural battery packs on a daily basis. He also stated that he has personally driven a Model Y equipped with the new battery technology, and that he believes Tesla will begin delivering these vehicles in Q1 of 2022. Tesla appears to have enough 4680 cells on hand to start and maintain production. However, given the high demand of its vehicles and plans to eventually bring the Cybertruck to market, it will require a massive influx of these cells in the near future. It's no surprise that Tesla is relying on Panasonic, its primary battery supplier. Panasonic has also stated that it is developing 4680 cells. Furthermore, the battery manufacturer has already stated that it will begin supplying Tesla with cells next year. However, according to a recent Bloomberg report, Panasonic has already received a large order from Tesla for the cells and will begin production for testing. Panasonic also intends to prioritize the production of these cells for Tesla once it is ready to ship them. Hirokazu Umida, Panasonic's CFO stated, Tesla has put in an extremely strong request for the 4680. So when we are actually able to deliver the 4680, we plan to put top priority on Tesla. We'll first prioritize supplying Tesla once the verifications are completed. Panasonic said its business with Tesla accounted for around 60% of its energy revenue, according to a spokeswoman. In the three months ending December 31st, Panasonic reported revenue of 194.3 billion Japanese yen, or $1.69 billion. According to MarketWatch, Tesla's business brought in around $1 billion for Panasonic in the first quarter. She also stated that the date and location for mass production of the 4680 batteries have yet to be determined. Panasonic unveiled a new prototype of the 4680 battery design in October 2021, and Kazao Tadanobu, the company's head of energy business, demonstrated in a media roundtable. He claimed that Tesla's strong desire for the battery was the driving force behind Panasonic's development. We have developed this because of the strong desire of the other party, and we think this can only lead to stronger ties. The new format is known as 4680 because it has a diameter of 46 millimeters and a length of 80 millimeters changing battery cell sizes to a wider format, as well as the use of tabless electrodes and other various approaches to cell production are all aimed at lowering costs and increasing pack level efficiencies. The height and diameter are both larger when compared to 21700 size and 18650 type cells. It is on its way to replacing the 21700 battery that Tesla electric cars currently use. Because of its higher degree of capabilities, such as charging cycle and higher energy density, the 4680 battery type would be popular in rechargeable and high current draining devices. The cost per kilowatt hour of next generation battery cells is also reduced by 14%, and batteries account for roughly 30% of the cost of an electric vehicle. This is a game changer for Tesla, and it will pave the way for a new generation of low cost electric vehicles. The humble battery cell is where it all begins. Tesla has made significant progress in rethinking the battery cell and is on the verge of mass producing these new cells. However, the majority of these changes will take the company 18 months to implement. According to Nikkei, the 4680 batteries will be a game changer because they are expected to give the vehicle one of the world's longest ranges per battery weight and will compete with rival South Korean and Chinese battery makers. 
Tesla intends to manufacture the batteries in-house at first, primarily to avoid potential disruptions from relying on third-party suppliers such as Panasonic. Musk said in a series of tweets ahead of the unveiling of the new 4680 battery cell in 2020 that the company would continue to buy battery cells from other companies. We intend to increase, not reduce battery cell purchases from Panasonic, LG, and CATL, Musk said in a tweet. Tesla is unlikely to achieve high volume production of the cells until 2022, according to the report. However, for the time being, Tesla is the sole manufacturer of the 4680 batteries. In a November interview, a Panasonic executive did not rule out supplying them to other companies. Analysts had warned that mass producing the new 4680 cells would be difficult due to their large size, which would lead to safety issues such as overheating. The company's initial test resulted in a performance satisfying prototype of the new cell, according to Emita. After struggling to expand production of the Gigafactory plant it jointly operates with Tesla in Nevada, the electronics maker has decided to designate a domestic site for its 4680 cell production. Panasonic can easily dispatch veteran engineers to fine-tune its machinery because the 4680 production site is close to its corporate headquarters in Osaka. Competitors such as LG Energy Solutions and Contemporary Amperex Technology Company are also increasing their capacity through investment. Panasonic has been slow to scale up in comparison to other EV battery heavyweights, instead touting the safety advantage of its batteries and emphasizing that profits come first. According to Japan's Neki newspaper, it is expected to help Tesla lower production costs by being five times the size of the batteries it currently supplies. The Neki reported that the power packs could help make electric vehicle EVs more appealing to motorists by extending their range by about a fifth without specifying where it got the information. A 20% increase would increase Tesla's Model S's claimed maximum range from 637 kilometers to 750 kilometers. Tesla was happy to buy cells with its own chemistry from its suppliers, but there were problems on the horizon. Tesla aspires to grow at a rate of 40 to 50% per year, and in order to do so, it would require an increasing number of batteries. Tesla's battery forecast revealed a discrepancy between its battery cell suppliers, production limits, and Tesla's internal demand for its automotive and energy storage businesses. Tesla's teams have been hard at work buying and designing new technical solutions to drive further improvements in the battery cell format in order to solve this problem. Perhaps more importantly, Tesla used its expertise in the field of battery cell manufacturing, as well as its world-class manufacturing equipment expertise, to completely rethink the process from start to finish. Tesla quickly moved beyond simply designing and building products to designing the machine that builds the machine as it sought greater efficiencies in automotive manufacturing. Manufacturing is difficult, but Tesla's dedication led it to design products that were easier to manufacture. This was first seen with the Model 3, and the work has continued with each subsequent iteration. When it comes time to design a new battery, Tesla started at the bottom and worked its way up. Musk's obsession with first principles thinking is reflected in this. He tries to start every design, every conversation with the lowest common denominator, the most basic truth that connects our products to the minerals that make them up. After those have been defined and refined numerous times, an optimized design can be constructed. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts? Tell us in the comments section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.